So I was talking about uh, domain authority in the Facebook group the other day, and I realized that some people didn't know what domain authority was. They didn't even know about Moz, and they have definitely not installed the Moz bar. And I want to make sure that anyone who is around the Fuel Your Photos group is familiar with the Moz bar and has it installed because I think it is one of the best pieces of software that you can use whenever you're trying to work on SEO for your website. So I highly recommend using Chrome. If not, you can also do this with Firefox. Uh, but I'm going to show you here in Chrome. Just, just uh, going to start with a Google search for Moz bar. And uh, this first result right here will take you to the page for downloading this for Chrome. Well, it's going to detect your browser, and you can watch a video a little, you know, find out a little bit more about what it does. But I'm just going to click this. It's going to take me to the Chrome store, and I'm going to add to Chrome, and then click Add Extension, and boom, there it is, right here in the top right, in that little blue box. Okay, so now I'm going to actually do one more little setting. I'm going to go to More Tools and then Extensions, and then I'm going to scroll down. Uh, thanks to Benjamin Turner for this little tip. You can actually click Allow in Incognito because a lot of times you're going to be wanting to search uh, while you're incognito to ch kind of check your rankings without the influences of the browser history. Um, which, by the way, if you have not done this, uh, you can just go do a search for Fuel Your Photos, check Google Rank, or go to the blog and look for this article, How to Track Your Google Rank. Hint, incognito is not enough. Uh, so if that's how you've been doing it, there's some really good information in this article on how you should be tracking your Google Rank uh, to get really much more accurate information. So check out that article if you have not already. Okay, so now that we have the Moz bar installed, I'm going to uh, switch over to an incognito window I've got pulled open here. And I'm gonna pick on my friend Bill and, and kind of look at his site. So you can see here the little blue bar, it means it's active. And I just need to refresh this since I already had it pulled up. And the Moz bar here pops up. Now, uh, it says, get full access to Moz Bar Premium with Moz Pro. I can try that free or log in. Now, you do not need to use Moz Pro and don't try it for free because after a month it's going to charge you a hundred bucks. Uh, it's, it's a little too expensive for what most photographers are doing. Now, if you're a real pro and you know you're going to use it, then that's fine. It's a great piece of software. I use it as an SEO. Uh, highly recommend it, but probably not. Uh, it's probably overkill for photographers. So, uh, you can click here in the settings and check all these little boxes right here and that'll give you a little bit more information and then I'm gonna refresh that again just to see if it'll pull up any extra information for me okay so without logging in I'm not going to be able to get uh, most of this information now see you have these little tool tips whenever you first start using this and if it, if you don't see stuff in from if stuff loading here sometimes you do have to refresh a couple of times and now it's being glitchy on me again let's see here close that now if you close it it goes into domain authority only mode which is cool you can kind of keep the bar out of the way um, but still see the domain authority for any site that you visit and so when i was talking about domain authority that's a quick way to see the domain authority let's turn it back on into full mode here one more time and now all of my metrics are gone so for some reason it's not pulling in the domain metrics here uh, sometimes it just does that and you have to come back and try it again later but let's go ahead and look at the on page elements so you can click here on this little uh, page analysis button and it will show you uh, URL, page title, meta description, meta keywords, which we don't want, so that's good that they're not found. Um, H1s, H2s, you can see alt text for the images on the page. And seeing all that in one place is really helpful as an SEO or to check your SEO. And it will kind of highlight whether those things are missing or off or just not quite right. Or if there's duplicates, it'll tell you if you have, sometimes people have duplicate meta descriptions or too many um, meta descriptions. And so this is a really helpful piece of the software. 
and general attributes you can see meta robots and it'll tell you what they're set to rel canonical tells you their canonical url uh, how fast your page loaded if you click here it'll take you to google page speed insights um, a little bit of other information here and link metric information uh, for some reason like i said these are not loading right now and normally you'll be able to see domain authority and page authority all of these are pro metrics and then markup tells you whether schema is set up correctly in open graph protocol and twitter cards um, you know these are more advanced things i'm not going to go into that in this video um, status codes will tell you whether you have 301 redirect or if there was uh, 404 or things like that um, so those are some of the main things you can also in highlight links so if you want to see whether links are followed or no followed you can click this and it'll highlight them if you have those on a page sometimes that can be helpful when you're hunting for links and you could highlight specific words or phrases on a page just type it in here and click highlight um, so there's a lot of really cool things you can do with the Moz bar um, and if you want to get even more information you can sign up for a free uh, Moz account if you go to you don't don't do the free trial for the pro account you can actually just um, create an account to join the community and as a Moz community member you get some other information in open site explorer um, and so there's a lot of cool things you can do there get you get the limits removed from open site explorer I'd highly recommend joining the Moz community because then you can actually click on whenever these show up you can click it right here and it'll take you directly to open site explorer and you'll be able to see even more information about the backlinks and all kinds of cool stuff you know you won't be able to organize it quite as well as someone with a pro account but you'll still have access to a lot of the information so certainly worth signing up here as a moz community member again this is part is free you don't have to do the pre I mean the free trial for the pro account you can just set up a free community account which is highly recommended so I went ahead and signed in to my free account with Moz not my paid account and I wanted to just show you a couple other quick things you can do uh, you can use the Moz bar if you have it activated and you do a Google search you'll see uh, results here underneath each link in the Google results so um, again right now we're not some of these are not loading and that's okay some usually they will right now I think there's just some kind of problem with the server but um, you can even click on this information when you're logged in it gives you the, a little bit more information if you click on it it'll take you to open site explorer and you can see the links that are coming in to this uh, website and you can even filter them like I can say only followed links and uh, then let's see what happens when that's finished I can even uh, download a CSV of this information and so if I click that it's going to pull all of the link data and it's going to put it into a CSV that I can open in Excel and sort. Um, there's just so much stuff you can do here within Open Site Explorer. Um, even, you know, looking into the spam score and, and all kinds of things. Now this is taking a long time to load. I'm not sure if it's my computer or my internet. Um, but hopefully you get the idea how to use Moz. Uh, first of all, you can use the Moz bar you can then use Moz inside of search results when you have the Moz bar installed and then from there you can click through to Open Site Explorer to get even more information. I'm not going to go into depth about how to use Open Site Explorer in this video. Um, maybe I'll do some more on that if people are interested but for right now hopefully this video was helpful for you and you can get the Moz bar installed and start playing with it if you have any questions. I am more than happy to answer Moz Bar questions anytime in the Fuel Your Photos Facebook group. Please come over there and join. And if you feel like this video will be helpful for any of your friends, I would love for you to share it with them. Subscribe to the YouTube channel um, or you know, bookmark the video. It's certainly 
um, one of the tools that will help you get ahead by having the right information to make the right decisions about SEO. All right, can't wait to see what you do with it and come on over to the group and let's have a conversation about the video.